Thanks, Robert. Hello. Uh, hello, my name is Janice. Um, I would just like to point out that the Crimes Act 1900 had been amended in 1984 to make it legal for two men to have sexual intercourse together at the age of 18 and for lesbians to have sex at the age of 16. In 2003, the law was amended again, making it legal for men to have sex at the age of 16. And I would like to know when the government is going to step up and allow the gay community to have same-sex marriages. Oh. Yeah. Um, thank, thank you for that question. And I understand uh, that uh, the question of gay marriage is going to get different reactions and different views in the community. And I know what I'm going to say now is not going to make you happy. It's going to disappoint you. But I'm just going to say it to you because I want to, want to tell you the truth. Uh, and, uh, you know, I and uh, the Labor Party uh, have a clear policy, and our clear policy is uh, that we uh, won't be amending the Marriage Act. Uh, the Marriage Act will stay the way it is now, so that marriage uh, is defined as between a man and a woman. And I know saying that's not going to um, uh, please you because you'd like to see something different happen. Uh, but what we have done as a government is we have moved across the area of federal legislation uh, to equalise treatment for same-sex couples. And so it's things like, really just practical things, uh, like the pharmaceutical benefits scheme, uh, how, you, uh, how you get a, a safety net payment out of that scheme. Uh, for a couple, their medical costs, their pharmaceutical costs count together, a married couple or a heterosexual de facto couple, we've made that the same for a same-sex couple. Superannuation, there used to be um, lack of clarity that in a same-sex relationship, whether or not the partner was entitled to the death benefit if, if the other person in the relationship died. Uh, that was clear for a married couple, it was clear for a heterosexual de facto couple. We've amended the law so it's now clear for same-sex couples. So we have moved across what the federal government does to deal with those practical uh, measures and to equalise the treatment of the federal law. I understand that, but the um, Homosexual Discrimination Act was brought out to protect the gay community from being discriminated against. And I'm a taxpayer, I'm a law-abiding citizen, and I want to be able to say to that woman that I love, will you marry me, not will you civil union me? Yeah. 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 And, and I, I can understand uh, I, I can understand that perspective, but what you know, I'm saying to you is what uh, I've decided and the Labor Party has decided, uh, and there will be a variety of views in our community about it, but uh, that's what the government stands for. So we just continue to go against the religious beliefs where in the Bible it states no sex before marriage, but yet it is legal for us to have sex, but it is not legal for us to get married. <laughs> well, uh, I, I can't, you know, sort of take it further for you than what I've said. Uh, that's my position. It's the position of the Labor Party. Uh, but we have moved to, uh, to equalise treatment uh, across the federal laws that we have. Can I just follow up on that? Because the argument from both sides seems to be we're not going to allow it because we've decided we're not going to allow it. We don't actually get an explanation well, on, on I think, why. Um, I think uh, for us... Uh, this is obviously an issue with um, different views in the community, but for the Labor Party, uh, you know, reflecting uh, community opinion, our members of parliament reflecting views in their community. I think in our culture there's been a special status around marriage, uh, the genesis of the Marriage Act, uh, and we're intending to keep so that special of status. Opinion. Uh, well, uh, opinion. Uh, publicly and within the Labor Party about that special status for marriage. We better move on. Let's see the next question. Yeah, I'd just like to start by saying that I agree with the previous question 100%. Consenting adults, regardless of gender, should be allowed to marry. It's a democracy. Anything that hinders that is really hindering progress. It's not really an opinion issue. Uh, 